Have you got something to talk about in the half pint? I've actually shuttlecocks. Ga- okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I've actually gained 14 subscribers on YouTube uh, last week without publishing anything. Do you want to? Do you want to know my secret tr- trick? Yes, please. I think uh, Howard's not going to like it, and Glenn's going to be proud of it, me because I outed myself on Facebook to my friends that I'm a maker on YouTube. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't have know, friends on Facebook, so it wouldn't I don't help. know whether to be proud or disappointed that you're on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm barely so, on says Facebook. Says the one that joined TikTok and then instantly left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like this. No, <laughs> feel uncomfortable. No, so after, after almost five years on YouTube, I actually told people around me that I do it. How did you come out? What did you say? Just... <laughs> There's been something I've been meaning to talk to you all about for some time now. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> that. But did you know this? No, you probably don't because I haven't told you. But I do this, <laughs> and I have a podcast. So maybe uh, some of my friends are listening to this. So hi, nice to have you here. Hello, um, KJ's friends. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We've got a WhatsApp group, don't you know? <laughs> It's better than Facebook. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Definitely better. Oh, I mean, it's not it's not hard to be better than Facebook. <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah, so that's something I've I'm, I've done. Yeah. Fantastic. I have well, I've I not outed myself on Facebook, but I mean when I went back into the the private sector, of course, uh, trying to catch up with some um, friends around in various companies, I made a LinkedIn profile as one do in the corporate world. And that is, of course, the, the crappy bastard child of Facebook where everybody <laughs> posts inspirational <laughs> quotes and how honored they are to uh, get a mid-manager role in a new yeah. company. It's so sad. So, so I just went in, and I know I think it's Hank Green who said I'm going to be the biggest YouTuber on uh, on LinkedIn, and it's it's not hard since he probably was the only one. But I mean, he got a big following. But I just like I can't really take this seriously. So, of course, you should list your qualifications and your job. And I like one day like fuck it, I'm a podcast host. So I just put that in and just listed. <laughs> Uh, I'm a media manager. I'm a video editor. I just piled on with all the skills and just pressed publish. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm a podcast host now <laughs> and a director <laughs> and a script writer, <laughs> videographer. Co- do you write? Co- <laughs> fluffer. Yeah. Fluffer. <laughs> 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 Is that for the second channel? <laughs> So, have any companies approached you with any exciting job opportunities for this multi-school, uh, multi-skilled uh, <laughs> we have in front of us? No, but I have lately. Well, of course, since I also have my own company, I, I have been getting a lot of these. Are you hiring? Of course, they they are. This is probably people working for LinkedIn that uh, are trying to make you to get the paid subscription. And then they're just hitting everyone that like, are you looking for people that pay for access to this and that? And yeah, I've been getting a lot of these emails lately. Yeah. So yeah, but no, no, no large syndicates wanting a, a TV show made <laughs> half decent in garage. <laughs> So KJ, I'm presuming you're on LinkedIn too. Is that is that the next 14 subscribers for you? <laughs> well, it might be. Uh, who knows? <laughs> yeah, LinkedIn is really sad. I would say. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, it, is. I mean, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, it's probably great if you're looking for a job to see who else is working there. If you know anyone and network, but if you're happy where you work and you don't want to do that, then it's just no use to it to me. Yeah, it's 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 the same reason why I just 
logged in and made an account and that was just i've been working in the uh in the public sector for a few years and then getting into the private sector again is like trying to hook up to figure out because people are changing jobs uh every now and then so just trying to get a, a picture of where everyone is working uh to see if there is uh, someone i know working in the same company yeah. so uh, but yeah once you've done that and that's a two-day ordeal and then i just like that is just laying there like a, a dead road kill. Yeah. The only thing I use it for is if I meet, uh, see somebody in a meeting, I know this person from somewhere. Where is that? And then I can check out where they work and say, oh no, we went, to, I saw him at uni. Yeah. That's, that's why I remember him, that sort of thing. Otherwise, LinkedIn is no, of new, no use to me. No. But maybe then, I should help uh, But that, that means then you can now go in and uh, post your YouTube career there as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, m- I mostly just use both Facebook and LinkedIn uh, to campaign Movember. <laughs> That's more or less the only time I'm active. <laughs> yeah. I, I had Facebook up until... Was it 2012 or 13 where I just uh, deleted it? It's like, this is so boring. I, I can't be bothered. And then, of course, at some point, uh, they did some uh, mockery about with the integration of uh, of Instagram. And I wanted to use the messenger function. So you needed to go back. You, you could have, you needed an account, uh, but you could put it dormant. And I also realized that is a good thing because even if you have an, I mean, if you register an account, but you don't have it public, then you are blocking for other people to take your name as an account. So I just did that. So it was just laying dormant for years. And of course, two years ago when I kicked off the, um, (laughs) the YouTube channel, then it's like, all right, I, ha- I have now an account on the major social media. Uh, and of course, it's easy once you post something on YouTube and Instagram, you can just take the same and just post it here and there and there. And then, of yeah. course, it just felt natural to also make a page on Facebook so that someone just don't make one for you in your name and start fucking around. So I did that. So my uh, behind the mistakes is on Facebook, but... I'm never there. I get a notification in Instagram <laughs> if someone posts something on there. So, uh, yeah, I'm still uh, very much yeah. on Instagram. Number one project is on there, and some of your stuff uh, pops up in my feed sometimes, and I, I give you a like. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about the only interaction I do on, on Facebook. Yeah, but that, that's nice to know, though, because I, I don't, I probably not switched on that functionality because I don't get a notification that someone liked something there but when i log on for whatever reason there's a there is a lot of numbers and notification there and uh i I don't bother to check what they are (laughs) it's normally you you can now view your linked message on instagram (laughs) yeah (laughs) but maybe we should uh, explore all the other social medias like snapchat and things like that build up a bit of a following and then come out as YouTubers and <laughs> follow KJ's lead. What do you think? <laughs> it is. Not TikTok, though. It's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, I, I want more apps, more. I mean, God damn it. Can't people just decide? We all do YouTube now. That, that's it. And then Facebook for old people. 60 plus and then (laughs) if only youtube had a built-in messaging function that actually worked that would be brilliant i kind of think it would and then sometimes i think actually it wouldn't (laughs) yeah and they and if they drop this uh, short thing (laughs) no don't drop the short thing (laughs) well you can't keep all right i'm i'm I, I'm, my, re- my... I'm redacting that statement. Yeah. Uh, you keep the shorts, but they should be vertical. No, horizontal, I mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, uh, the shorts gives me some peace of mind when I've done a long video 
and you know you spend a lot more time editing it and it gets 186 views as the whiskey cup video has but then you do two shorts accompanying it and one does just over a thousand and the other one does ten thousand makes me feel better <laughs> that it was worth filming that content <laughs> yeah but then if youtube didn't crap your feed with all the shorts then you would see more uh, uh horizontal long form videos and you would watch that instead and then you would get those likes there i mean yeah, uh, yeah. i see the shorts as um a way for people to find my channel as well i definitely when i've got a, a short running that's doing well my other videos do definitely get watched more. Yeah. But now we don't need the, the shorts to get people to our channel. We should just out ourselves at work. So you should just go from door to door to your clients. Hi. Do you know I also do this? <laughs> I've, I've told them all. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're not interested. Yeah. They, might, they might be if I do a gardening channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm not. We'll leave, that to K- we'll leave that to KJ. <laughs> do it. Try it. Do a do a garden video on your main channel and see what it does. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is what I do for fun, yeah. KJ. <laughs> Bring your work home. Do it, yeah. please. Everyone says that's a that's a yeah. win-win. <laughs> How's your mowing grass channel? Have you done anything on it this year? No, no, I haven't. No, it was just for fun last year and it didn't yeah i don't think i, I the the grass hasn't grown that much this year so it's i haven't i haven't had to mow it that often have you checked in on that account to see if you've got a, a million subscribers on it yeah i'm pretty sure i don't have a million i think because <laughs> what you need to do is tell them the just do a little post on that channel saying oh, do you know i have another channel <laughs> <laughs> yeah well I, I wouldn't mind if that uh, would have happened. No, I have 14 subscribers, so no. Uh, I don't think I even, I don't think I subscribed. No, I don't. It's not worth it. <laughs> but the, the thing is, if you, uh, I mean, since you own both channels, I mean, people can have non-public accounts, so you just see their number and not their, their specifics. But do you... Sp- if you have two accounts, do you see uh, if there is any statistical overlap? Like, uh, is 10 of the 14 subscriber also subscribing to your other channel and vice versa? I do not know. I haven't looked into that statistic, but I'm pretty sure that you need us, uh, more people to actually get some stats. Yeah. Because you don't get it. You could. Um, you also have the YouTube channel for the this podcast as well, don't you? So you have three channels. Yeah. But you could also yeah. do it. You could probably do a little bit more marketing work through that on the posts and through the community page, couldn't you as well? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you seem so eager. Calm <laughs> down, KJ. It's all right. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I mean the the. We've spoken about this before that the YouTube channel for the podcast isn't really, it doesn't really make that much sense. I think uh, the, the only one who uses it is uh, James from Fix His Fingers. Hi, James. Yeah. Um, uh, because he's the only one who comments on them, the episodes. And we, don't, don't, we get about one view uh on each video so i guess that's the it. half pints generally do a little bit better don't they uh perhaps but i mean the, yeah. the only way at, that i know of uh to get on the youtube podcast is either to have a a channel where you upload videos that they yeah. convert into podcasts or there's some automat automated way that i tried and it failed miserably it just shat itself and said, nope, <laughs> not doing this, when I tried to import our uh, our podcast feed to it. So we just keep uh, uploading the videos there. Uh, maybe we want to make a little video on repeat. Just keep going round and round. <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube channel. Or maybe we should do a collab. Everyone just outside and... Uh... Shoot one hour of lawn mowing and we'll cut it together. And that's the only video <laughs> on the channel. It's like three hour of lawn mowing. 
<laughs> I'll do you three hours tomorrow if you like. You can just uh, just edit your face in. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll switch the lawnmowers around so it looks different. <laughs> and you, you can you can screenshot this and you can uh, print our faces and then just uh, double sided type and put that on the hubcaps of your uh, lawnmower and just drive around while the heads <laughs> <Yeah>. are spinning. <laughs> KJ <laughs> sticker would be amazing for that. You're welcome to use it. <laughs> you know, I um. I am really inspired, and uh, I'm I'm getting close to where I need to order some more stickers, and I need some uh, some head stickers as well. And uh, <laughs> I mean, you yeah. have your face kinda on your sticker already, so just do a a, uh, yeah, a real life version that. of that. <laughs> yeah, I have the fisherman hat, and I I have. Not used it in a video yet, and I, I actually tried it on for the the KitchenAid video, but um, there was something about it's it's large brim, uh, and there was something it interfered with the microphone, uh, so yeah, it did it didn't work, and I could not see properly. So. <laughs> <laughs> what part of you thought that it would be good to wear the fisherman's hat while you were whipping cream? <laughs> Because there was a lot of sun, so without the hat on, I was squinting like no tomorrow. <laughs> and then it doesn't matter if the cream is going everywhere either. It's... No. True, true. <laughs> Ex- expecting a splash. Talking about stickers and logos and whatnot, did Manga Susuru message you yesterday at all about your logo? Yes, it did. Hmm, what's going on there? That's a bit curious, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all uh, troubling. <laughs> Dr. Evil there with his massive laser. <laughs> Very much uh, Dr. Evil feel. Yeah. Some yeah. kind of villainy going on there, I think. A, a man with too much tools and too much time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. That doesn't bode well. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but he, he he was a great uh, uh, help uh, with for me uh, when I did research for paving the the pathway. So I have to thank him. Thanks, Arnie, uh, for all your tips and tricks. Uh, uh, at least, I mean, I, I don't know if all of them worked because I just finished it, so it might fall apart any time. Um, so then I'm going to blame you. Uh, you didn't you didn't think to ask the gardener. No, I mean you're a gardener. You 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 should work on plants, not not I know, but I, stone. I did use I did use to run a landscape team as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then I mean you just mow grass. You don't do anything important, <laughs> do you? No, it's true. It's true. It's all very true. You're so wasted, <laughs> and not in the fun way. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to go off and shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't. I then I have to do the social media, and I will. Uh, and that I would not your, be good. I love your little pep talks. Bad day there. Let me help you out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me load the rifle for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's the same uh, for our listeners out there. Uh, I sometimes send morning messages to uh, KJ and Glenn while I'm walking over a bridge uh, to get to my work and like, uh, uh, good morning from the bridge. And then I <laughs> so, sometimes I, f- I feel the need to specify, no, I'm not jumping. I'm just on my way to work. <laughs> <laughs> One day <laughs> there will be. <laughs> this is the last message from the bridge. <laughs> oh. Have you ever noticed KJ? It always sounds like he's walking in flippers. Yeah, it's it, it is a, okay. a special sound. It is. I don't know why. <laughs> Walking in what? Flippers. You know, I know what that is. I know what it is because I. I think it was yesterday. I had to listen back to it because there was a bit of wind. So I'm just gonna make sure that uh, it's actually audible, and then I could hear that flip flop sound. And I, what the. Fuck is this? And then <laughs> every realized, morning, 
Yeah, I, I still I have the the key card ID card hanging around my chest when I'm speaking ah. to the phone that is flapping and I don't hear it but the microphone really picks it up. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's something rhythmical so yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, tomorrow I'm going to flip it onto my back so you don't hear it. <laughs> it just made me think, you know, we talked about jumping off the bridge is he trying to fake his own death? He's actually going prepared to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> swim away quite happily <laughs> just put a big padlock yeah. I mean I'm presuming it's a bridge over a river I mean it could be a bridge over other things yeah and then ooh since people don't know I have a YouTube channel at work could I fake my own death because the insurance <laughs> is, is, is decent then that will go to my uh. wife so if we have an agreement could I, uh, air quotes, die, get insurance money, and then be a maker? How well are you insured? It's <laughs> I think worth it. But uh, <laughs> last like two years, then you have to come back. Ta da! Yeah. I've, I've actually read this is insurance. my brother. <laughs> I've read the insurance policy and. Uh, I'm afraid to tell my wife. <laughs> Let's just say that. So, yeah, I could actually be a maker for quite a few years. Of course, you have to subtract uh, the half of it to, to keep the family uh, going. But, Do you uh, trust her yeah. enough? It's, yeah. It's a real sad fact, isn't it, that we're all worth more debt? <laughs> yeah. I think I have a bad policy. I think I'm worth more <laughs> <Really? life. laughs> Can you go to your employer? Because... You're willing to pay me that amount when I die. You pay me less when I actually show up to work. Let's let's strike a deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a quarter now, and you don't pay out when I'm dead. Yeah. Perfect. And you will never see me again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll leave today. <laughs> but the employee... And if you need me to tell something to someone... You get a one-day pass. <laughs> <laughs> the employer paying out if you die? No, it's the insurance company, of course. Yeah, so, yeah uh, I thought so. But I mean, they not through your employment. Or do you have something like that at work? Yeah, we have an insurance policy uh, that covers, of course, uh, anything work-related. But even if you die, uh, there is a coverage there to support uh, the family who's left and so on. So, yeah. I don't think we have for dying. I don't know. I haven't checked it out. Yeah, but I have a, a private one. <laughs> <laughs> I have an insurance policy for work, but that's if somebody wants to sue me or if I break something of theirs and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> good to have. Yeah. Liability yeah, insurance, and that can be a liability, so that's worth having. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, though, going back to the maker part, because, of course, making something out of a piece of wood is relatively unproblematic, but I, I wouldn't want to be a maker trying to sell anything in the States, uh, because you would have uh, liability insurance that would uh, cost you uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, probably. And I, I made some lamps for myself. And of course, if you start uh, reading the rules and regulations, you should, I mean, all the electrical work should be made by an electrician and you should write a statement of conformity towards whatever regulations uh, stating that this is uh, fulfilling all the requirements for home appliances. And I'm not a licensed electrician. Um, so I'm basically not allowed to make them for myself. And if you're going to sell them, they need to be CE approved and you should have a quality system. I mean, as a single maker, you, you can't really make them and sell them. I mean, you can, but they won't give you a liability insurance unless you have all the paperwork and qualifications in place. And most people don't. So, yeah. So probably that's why... Uh, I'm not going to even try the, the, the cheese boards. <laughs> All right, so uh, 
so popular because you can you can make that without any uh, paperwork. I think. Yeah. Unless you put some food grade oil on it, then you should have the spec sheet for that and uh, health and safety and uh, what you do if you get it. Uh, yeah, not for human consumptions and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been assured, um, sorry, just it's on topic, but slightly off topic, that uh, Rubio is food safe. So if you die when you drink your whiskey, Havar, out of the whiskey cup, blame Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I I, th- I think you don't need to go that far as Tim to find a Rubio uh, representative, do, do you? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's easier to blame Tim. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tim's fault. He's in, he, he is Rubio, isn't he? <laughs> it wouldn't I surprise mean, me. I, if I he think he is it. everything that people are willing to give him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, James referred to him as the uh, Rubio King, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's Rubio, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Tim did, that, Tim that's did the it. thing. I, I actually bought... It's a Swedish brand. I'm not going to pronounce it, but they have various kinds of uh, wood finishes and they, they have one that's specifically for chopping boards which is food safe and yeah i figured out that gives a really good finish to whatever so that that's the only thing i'm using yeah. and as long as it's food safe i mean i don't want to drink it so i keep the cap on whenever the kids are roaming about but yeah what are you using danish oil no it's uh Hadding, I think, is the Swedish oh, brand. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. So, but, yeah, it's <laughs> worth fun. And it's, it's the same company who uh, produces the water-based dye that I use to make everything red. And it's, it's just these small packages of powder, and you just mix it with half a liter of water, and it ah. stains like a... But I did... <laughs> I did use the Christine car uh, outdoors and there was a few raindrops. So you need to put some uh, top coat on there to, to seal it in. So, yeah, it's for indoor use only unless you want to do some additional treating. Well, we're talking about finishes. Shall we finish for the night? <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Too smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, too good to not uh, pass <laughs> up or vice versa. Yeah. Good night. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 <sighs> I am tired, guys. I don't think I can do this anymore. <clears throat> <laughs> I think I'm, I think I've got to leave. <laughs> do you have a bridge in mind? <laughs> I do. Do, or is it yeah. just a Dan, Danny Glover? I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> I am definitely going too old for this shit. <laughs> Wasn't he like 41 when he did that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so let's not talk more about that. <laughs> <laughs>